Okay, so in this video we're going to prove De Moy's theorem for positive integers. Uh, that is, let's write what De Moy's theorem is. Cos theta plus i sine theta. I'm leaving the r out of this. Oops. Is equal to cos n theta plus i sine n theta. I'm going to do an inductive proof, uh, which is what's expected on the Edexcel FP2 syllabus. So um, they normally make it pretty clear that what they expect. The, a question that appeared in class the other day was because we just recently looked at Euler's formula, Euler or Euler's relation, which is that e to the i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sine theta and the question was, it's a very good question isn't De uh, isn't this a proof of it using that which is using the rule of indices i n theta equal to cos n theta plus i sine n theta so isn't that because that's basically what we've done using Euler's relation doesn't that constitute a proof why can't we do that well it's certainly true I don't think we can deny that, that what we've actually said what we've said in this line is actually correct mathematics I suppose the point here and it's um bit of a moot point really but the point is here is what we actually mean by proof and uh, mathematicians are a little bit are very specific about this is why we don't really get to see it in fp2 but this is why uh why we're expected to use this proof because basically if you think about it euler's relation how did we establish euler's relation well if you remember we used Taylor series or Maclaurin series um, sorry cos theta we use Taylor and Maclaurin series for that so that we haven't really pro uh, proved that and we have and neither have we proved Taylor series so it's all about what we actually consider to be an acceptable thing to quote because we haven't established you know what we mean by a lot of this stuff even though it's true that doesn't mean to say that it actually is a proof now this proof actually uses the compound angle formulae um, sine, you know, sine A plus B equals to, uh, as you expand them out, sine A, cos, sine A cos B and so on. It uses that and you may say, well, what's to say I can assume that? And I suppose it's just one of those things, it's a bit of a mute point. We, it, at least that doesn't rely on any calculus and it could actually be proved by a simple diagram and it's actually in the C3 textbook if you want to check it out but it is quotable so you're not expected to actually quote uh, prove this formula but in a strict pure mathematical world I suppose we would have to so basically there's more when we're talking about proof it's not just always okay to say something that's actually mathematically true it's got to be a convincing argument and in this case we allow us to use that to quote that in our proof but to quote Euler's relation which relies on a whole lot of other stuff is not unless the question said use Euler's re relation to verify or something like that then of course that's fine but the question is almost certainly going to say prove and in fact to be honest to be specific they'll probably say use mathematical induction to prove but that's why it's there because of course this is longer than demonstrating via Euler's relation but Euler's relation as I hope I've made a point is very dependent on other things so here we go with the inductive proof right okay so first of all how do how does induction work well we we basically we basically use we start off assuming it's true for n equals 1. Is it true for 1 at n equals 1? Well, trivially, of course it is. We've got cos theta plus i sine theta to the 1. 
is clearly equal to cos 1 theta plus i sine 1 theta, which is true. So it's true for n equals 1. OK, so it's true when n equals 1. So now what we want to do is assume it's tr true. Now we make this assumption. I do like induction. It's so, it's, it's so intuitive, it's so nice. So we assume it's true for n, equal, n equals k, i.e. that cos theta plus i sine theta to the k is equal to cos k theta plus i sine k theta. Okay, so now let's make an expression for cos theta plus i sine theta to the k, k plus 1. So now we want to show, so now consider we need to prove also true for also true for n equals k n equals k plus 1 even so here we go, so cos theta plus i sine theta to the k plus 1 is equal to, clearly equal to cos theta plus i sine theta times by cos k theta plus i sine k theta Okay, because it's we're assuming that it's true for. Well, maybe I'll take a step back here. Perhaps that's uh, perhaps I, that's true. But again, we need to be a little bit more convincing than that, and we need to present things a little bit better. So let's take a step back to the K. There we go. That's better. So now we can write that next line. I was going to anyway, because now we assume true. So we're assuming that's a that's the inductive part by assuming that the is for it true for this bit. So that equals to cos theta plus i sine theta uh, times by cos k theta plus i sine k theta. Okay, so Let's just uh, tidy this screen up a little bit. Okay, so that's made a little room. So let's uh, multiply this out. If we multiply out the top of that line, we get cos theta cos k theta plus i sine, sine k theta cos theta plus sine theta cos k theta times by i and then we finally plus i times i so that's actually going to be minus because i to this term times this term leads to a mod an i squared which is a minus one so that's minus sine theta sine k theta. Right, so let's tidy that up and put into the real and imaginary bit. I think you probably can see what's coming now because I did warn you that we're going to be using those compound angle formulae. Okay, and then gather the real part okay hopefully we can get this done before the tablet dies
and minus uh, no it's plus isn't it sine theta cos theta plus sine theta k cos sine theta cos k theta there it's in a bit of a peculiar order maybe but never mind i think i think we get the idea okay so we can now say that that equals to now this using the compound angle formula for cos a plus b we can see that that's cos theta plus k theta and we can see that this similarly using the compound angle for sine a plus b is sine theta plus k theta and that's i okay well that's obviously equal to cos theta k, k plus 1 theta plus i sine k plus 1 theta now that's obviously got to we that's just obviously where we want to head but we need to close it off properly so so that we, we need to close it off and say that we actually know what's going on and we've proved it so we say so that implies true when n equals to k plus one if true for n equals k since let's just go back to our statement here also true when n equals 1 de Moy's theorem is proved for all positive integers okay and that is it we proved it uh it only works for positive integers there so there's we, we, the, and i think uh, we will need to look further in a future video on negative integers and even possibly on rational value on any rational value for n but certainly for negative integers we'll need to uh, do another video for that because you could be expected to prove that in your edXL fp2 exam okay that's it